Hi everyone, my name is Akitunde Bimusala and I'm your fertility nurse. So someone asked the question that can postnatal cause infertility? Could it be the reason why she was trying to conceive and it's not happening? Stay tuned. Welcome back. And so we're going to take a very quick recap about what exactly postnatal is and what it does in the body. So, Postino 2 is an emergency contraceptive, you know, Postino 2, two. It's an emergency contraceptive that actually helps to interfere with the fertilization of both the egg and the ovum because it is an hormonal drug level nogestion. It's an hormonal drug. So, these hormones that is inside this drug interferes with the woman that is supposed to help in fertilization of the egg and the sperm to form the baby and so when exactly is this drug taken postinot 2 is actually taken within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse so on the day one maybe after sexual intercourse on the monday you are supposed to take it nothing less than three days after so some people actually go to the extent of not taking it after three days and at the end of the day resulting in pregnancy i'm feeling like i took it but you took it wrong then just it so it's taken within 72 hours of unprotected sexual intercourse and for the dosage it comes in two two tablets so one is to be taken the first hour and 12 hours after you take the second one so it should be taken 12 hours interval not the second day within 12 hours so if you're taking it 2 a.m just ensure that by 2 p.m the following day you're taking the second one and not like maybe the second day by 2 a.m. again, no. Within 12 hours, it should be taken. And one of the things that people fail to know is that Postinot 2 is not supposed to be taken casually. It's not a casual drug. It's supposed to be taken for emergency. So that is one of the reasons why it's an emergency drug. Maybe for a married woman who, yes, it happened, and or for a single lady, and she's trying to prevent pregnancy for the married or the single. You have to take it within 72 hours of sexual intercourse, unprotected sexual intercourse. And another thing with it is that it actually, because it's an oral drug, so some people actually feel nauseated, like they feel like vomiting. Some would feel like they say it makes them dizzy. Everybody is peculiar, and so you might react to drugs differently. But if you know you have hypertension, you're diabetic, you have cancer, any cancer at all just ensure to stay clear of this drug you know because it's a hormonal drug and most of these disease conditions like the cancer fits on some hormones you do not know what exactly will interfere with it so it is better to stay clear it if you know you have hypertension you're diabetic and you also have cancer so postinotu is not a drug for abortion i do not know where people get that from it is not a drug for abortion it does not abort the baby. If you know you got pregnant and you were trying to terminate it, and you feel someone told you you take personal two, it's going to abort it. Never. It will not. It only prevents pregnancy. It does not abort pregnancy. And to the main question that says, does it affect, does it cause infertility? Personal two will never cause infertility because it is an hormonal drug. You know, it interferes with your menstrual cycle. And one of the side effects that people see is that their menstrual cycle is being delayed yes it affects because it's an hormone you know because in the hormones of the body we have the follicle stimulating hormone we have the estrogen we have the progesterone so we have the luteinizing hormone so it interferes with this hormone so if the period is supposed to come 10 days after you took it so sometimes you might expect it 20 days after 15 days after so people even wait as far as 17 days after the taking of the pills and so that is why it is not a casual drug whereby on monday you took it thursday again you had unprotected sexual intercourse you took it so all this is you are loading your system with this particular hormone and it will disrupt the menstrual flow but it cannot cause infertility because it does not affect your endometrial lining it's just a temporary drug it's just for the temporary that's why it is an emergency just for the meantime it will not disrupt it for a long period of time that will now cause the endometrium. No. 
So it's actually a myth that posterior two causes infertility. It has nothing to do with the uh, um, dementia line at all. It has nothing to do with it. So in case you took posterior two, maybe while you were young or in the some ages back, some months back, and you're trying to conceive and you're feeling maybe some kind of guilt that it is because of the posterior two. I can barely tell you that no. Postinal 2 will never and can never cause infertility. If this video has actually added some values to you, please do like, share, and subscribe. And please do tell somebody about our channel because we'll be posting more videos about your sexuality as a woman, as a man also, how you can actually achieve conception or to avoid it in cases whereby you don't want to use some kind of contraceptive. So see you in my next video.